We are thrilled to have right here on the Rich Eisen Show studio one of the members of the 24th season of Dancing with the Stars on ABC. This is Dancing 24 for crying out loud. Uh, and it premiered live last night uh, on ABC. This uh, gentleman is also in Walk of Fame with Malcolm McDowell. That's uh, coming soon to a theater near you on Friday, March 24th. Good to see you, Chris Catan. Thanks for being here. It's always been an honor to, well, I, I'm Thank happy you. to be here. And I love, this is the most beautiful set I've ever been on. This is Come on gorgeous. now. You've been to many sets, Chris. Yes, but that doesn't mean they're the most beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You know, well, I I appreciate your the the Chris Kattan stamp of approval. Well, Thank I know you so you've been much. looking for that for years. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> and now and now here we are uh, in this situation. And last night you yes. made your dancing debut. I did. Yeah. Okay. And you danced to um, uh, well, what is love by Hathaway mm -hmm. from the, the uh, night of from the, the Roxbury. Yes, the night of the Roxbury would be the film. And uh, and in the television only segment, we show we saw you with your dance moves yes. with Whitney Carson, your yes. your lovely He's fantastic. partner. Fantastic, who's just an amazing. It's unbelievable these dancers how good they are. It's just ridiculous. And so I turned to you. I'm like, you must have chosen that song, right? And and I said, no, I did not. <laughs> and you're like, what? You did not I choose did not this choose song. That song no. Um, but um, but I wasn't I wasn't surprised that they chose that song. Mm -hmm. That's not my first choice. I mean, I've heard that. That's like, I've heard that song a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a great deal of times. Nothing wrong with it. And, um, but, you know, I did a, I do a stand-up joke where I called that. I said, uh, there's something I like to get out of the way just for a second. And I do the, you know, the head bop thing. Mm -hmm. And then I say, uh, I like to call that the death of me. And then the whole <laughs> audience goes, oh. And I say, I just know that someday I'll be in a casket and someone will come over and go, let's just, let's just bop his head one more time. <laughs> just grab yeah, your head. Grab one more time. You're... But, um, but no, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that song. I think it's uh, terrific. I just wouldn't... Well, it's got a good beat. You can dance to it at the exactly. very least. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just a great deal of other songs that I like a so lot So what more. would you have chosen if given the choice for your first Dancing with the Stars routine with Mr. T and the eyes of the nation <laughs> on you? What would... well, with, with Mr. T, in effect. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what I would had chosen. Probably, um, maybe something, maybe by, something by Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly, how about that? So you'd have gone old school. Yeah, I would have. You'd gone, gone really old school. Yeah, I would have gone something. Else. The stuff that I would would have chosen would be something I wouldn't dance to. Okay. I'm not a good. I'm not. I mean, that's part of the whole thing. You don't. I have no idea how to dance. I mean, at all. One, two, and then I get lost after that. So I just don't know what to do after three. Out of everybody else, Chris Catan, who's in Dancing with the Stars, who are, who are you most excited to have actually met? You got Mr. T Charo for crying out Charo. loud. Charo, I think it was. Ex I don't know if it was exciting. It was one. It was amazing to see Charo because I just I didn't know what she was mm -hmm. up to. I didn't know. I just haven't seen her. You know, since the old. Since the love Hollywood book? squares when I was like eight years old. I'm like, Dad, what are you watching? I'll take Charo for the block. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was like, ay, 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 ay. So that was, you know, that was that was amazing. All right. Yeah. Do you have a favorite sports team, Chris? Um, Any in particular? You know, I like, um, I do like that. I love, well, you know, I was there, you know, for that, the, those years of the Lakers uh, for a while there mm -hmm. when Nicholson was on the floor. And, you know, mm -hmm. I was there when, like those last few games of Shaq and, so I got to see those. How about when you were on SNL? Do you go to a lot of Knicks I games? Went to the, I went to a Knicks game, uh, and um, and they, uh, you know, being on SNL at the time, mm -hmm. and, and they're so New York's such a great city because they're so tight with the, mm -hmm. you know, sports and politics and all that. It all bleeds into one. And there's such an appreciation for comedy, especially from sports figures. You know, they really love comedy. Mm -hmm. Same with musicians too. I've I've noticed that too. Mm -hmm. They love comedy. And I went to a Knicks game, and they gave me great seats. And um, actually, I went to a game with uh, Seth Myers, mm -hmm. and um, he loves sports. And uh, th th there was a point where um, they're just, you know, I can't, I'm going to embarrass myself if I say what particular move they're doing. But uh, at one point, uh, one of the Knicks had the ball, mm -hmm. and he saw me in the audience just on the floor, and he mm -hmm. went, hey, man, what's up? During the game. During the game. Yeah, I was like, well, what? No, no, Mid-dribble? No, yeah, mid-dribble. Like, don't, don't look at me. Go he didn't play your game. He didn't do the thing with the head, did he? No, he did not do that. <laughs> but I, I just thought that was a bit, you know, just like being at a concert, like, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hey, what's up? Well, you know, the, right in the middle of a concert. The same, the, one of the more famous Super Bowl stories is uh, as Joe Montana is yeah. getting ready for his eventual game winning drive against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh -huh. He comes out, gets in the huddle, and he says, hey, there's John Candy. And he pointed out John You're Candy, who was me. in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> but that's so, a, well, that's one thing. He didn't, because I wasn't being pointed out. Like, mm -hmm. he was just like, hey, man, like a social, as if it was a social, you know, we're having like a little 
a drink one on one all of a sudden. Maybe like he shouldn't be distracted. It could have been like Latrell Sprewell just giving you a little shout out, a little sub. Maybe he that is. It could have been. Could have actually been very possible. I'm sure Seth Myers was very impressed at that point. I think he was. Yeah, it's the opposite now. (laughs) <laughs> probably on, but <laughs> but no it, it was very cool i've always had such a great uh um mm-hmm. i mean all sports but basketball i thought was uh is such a great uh it's just amazing to watch the players you know and same with dancing too there, it, mm-hmm. it is, there is a dance to being a when you're playing basketball there is a dance to well it, i mean it can't be play. fair that you're going up against simone biles oh, you're talking about the ba- dancing thing yeah. yeah and or nancy kerrigan who's you know no, essentially uh, was dancing on skates in a way from I, back I, in the day I, I, I mean, yeah can't be fair obviously Chris. if i took that point of view it, there's a lot of unfairness to the fact that she just won the gold medal and of course america is going to root for her <laughs> yes. of course she knows how to dance more than i do <laughs> you're I mean, going down in that popularity contest absolutely huh? there's no way i have a chance but i'm not looking at it that way at all and um, well, and good. I'm I'm surprised I actually did okay last night. Mm-hmm. I think I don't know how I did. Well, when, I, when I did we I get... had a good. T- the thing is, like everyone says, just make sure you have a good time. Make sure you have a good time. Like that's, mm-hmm. of course, I'm gonna have a good time. Okay. There isn't really anything I don't really have a good. You know, I have a good time with car accidents. I have a good time. <laughs> I'm not that good of a time. But you know, like I'm relatively a very positive person, and it takes mm-hmm. very it takes a lot for me to not have a very good time. But mm-hmm. you know, so I I. I I have a I'm having a great time. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot it's of work, a lot of right? Training, yeah, 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 four to five hour days. Damn, pretty much, yeah. Wow. I mean, they already said like when I'm done here, I have to go back into. You're going back. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. we got a new we got a new dance. What do we got? Gonna... Can you can you give me a preview? I don't what know if you... I'm allowed to say. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. The trap door, the dancing trap door tra- travels. Yeah, it this... will open up. It exactly. Will, yeah, it will swallow you up, Chris. There's all those rules. Be very very careful. Yeah, but I gotta say, I'm having a. It's one of those things where you just take a leap into something that you never thought you'd want to or or you could do sure. and you're just glad you did. And um well, fabulous. And also, you know, I have a, a immense amount of respect for it's almost like um you know, dancing is such a real art form. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a raw yeah. art form like singing, you know, sure. uh, uh, and 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 or being great at sports or, or being great at comedy. There's Who was the best no, sport? So were you, were you were you on were you there when Peyton Manning came in and uh, guest hosted? Was there any any oh, sports oh. person when you were on Saturday um, SNL? Like who's the I best? I was not there with Peyton Manning. Um, I'm trying any to remember. Good sports. I was part of a. Well, the biggest, the most famous one was the Kerry Strug, uh, sports thing when I did. Um, <laughs> you were Kerry Strug. Well, she, I was Kippy Strug. That's a kid. You know, <laughs> and it was a weekend update feature. Norm Macdonald was the yeah. thing, and she was like. Um, <laughs> I did. She has like the highest pitch voice. Only yeah. dogs and I can hear it really. <laughs> but she's like, "I'm Carrie Strag for the Olympics," like that. Like, whoa. <laughs> so uh, we did this bit where I was Kippy for fictitious brother. I wrote this with uh, Robert Smigel, who's this great writer. And, we know. Oh, sure. Yeah, you know, know Robert Smigel, of course. Taste. Yeah, so it's great. Um, and uh, so he, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a great. That's a great way to go about it. Like, if you can do a voice, if you can't do an impression, just mm. say you're the fictitious brother. Or something like that. That's a good way to well, get around. Well, you're pretty it. very good, Kerry Strug, by the way. That's oh, not bad. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's close to the brother too. It's very. But um, so she um, yeah. So it was like every time she did like a uh, well, she broke her leg, as you know, and she won the gold. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it was one of those rare, incredible moments in SNL when uh, they can somehow, even though she's on the cover of Time and she broke her leg, she's willing to go get on a flight and do a bit mm-hmm. for Saturday Night Live. And uh, I just said. Uh, you know that she was like every time she did it. You know every time she did a, a vault, I would say a little prayer. You know, I said that uh, I, I said a little prayer. She goes, "You did." I go, mm-hmm. "She goes, that's so sweet." I go, "I know it is, isn't it?" <laughs> and it was like um, I think it was my yeah, it was my seventh show. Mm-hmm. I was doing very well on SNL, and she's all for it. And I and I it was like that was my first taste of like, am I making fun of her or am I appreciating her? Well, maybe a little bit of both. A little bit of both. There you go. But it was okay. It was it was all good. Well, imitation is the greatest form of flattery, Chris. You know what they say. I think so. That's why I'm waiting for someone to make fun of me. <laughs> I don't know when that's going to happen. In the meantime, enjoy dancing. Thank, Thank you so thanks much. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Good luck to you. I appreciate you. it. You got it. Everyone vote for Chris Kattan. That's right. Oh, or dancing. Team Mango Tango, by the way. The Team Mango? Team Mango. Again, Tango. I did not choose that, but I'm all <laughs> for it, and I'm having a blast. <laughs> why would I choose that? But again, I, I'm having a blast. I love it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.